hi guys welcome to my channel so i've kind of prepped my face already because i am doing my unboxing of boxy charm and i'm going to try on some of the stuff in the box as well so if you want to continue watching to see where this video goes well i mean do keep watching <laughs> I have here with me September's boxy charm and it usually costs 21 US dollars for you all who want to know but um, from the month of November the 1st of November boxy charm the regular box will now cost 24 US dollars which I don't really mind because I mean you'll get you're going to get to pick an item in your box every month and they promise that it's supposed to be a better experience and all of that so i'm looking forward to see how that works out because boxy charm i mean i just love you so i'm going to continue and let's see what i got in my boxy charm so this month the card is boxy charm all access so the first product in my box this month is the Violet Voss Essentials Eyeshadow Palette and this is valued at 29 US dollars. It's so pretty. I was definitely happy that I got this in my box. I have to say from the time I saw these sneak peeks coming out, I was like, oh my God, I need that Violet Voss. I pray, I pray that I get the Violet Voss and bam, I got it. Hey, hey. Okay, so moving on. The next item in my box is Dr. Brand Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. Now, earlier, mind my voice a little hoxy because I've been sick for the past week and I it's only today that I'm actually feeling a little better. So I decided to do this video. Right, so it's a hydrate and recovery sleeping mask that balances skin's natural, naturally occurring flora and locks in moisture overnight to reduce redness and soothe the signs of, the signs of irritation. So I can't wait to use this because I love skincare and I love masks and I'm definitely a fan of this brand. I've received so many stuff from them during my boxy charm time here and I have to say I do look forward to getting more stuff from the brand. I, I really, really love them. So next is the Moda 5-piece brush kit. Moda Pro takes Moda to the next level. Uh -huh. This line features superior quality filaments and modern professional shapes. Yeah. I love motor brushes and I love getting these in my boxy jam because I have gotten these in the past. And this is valued at $27.95 US. So next up is the Hank and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner. And I was excited about this too because I love eyeliners. So this is valued at 20 US dollars. Introducing our latest addition to the Slick With It line of eye products. Our eyeliner is a vegan liquid formula. I like the way that sounds. Dries down to a satin matte finish. Not too sure if I'm happy about that because I'm more of a matte finish kind of gal. This formula is extremely long wearing. <coughs> Excuse me. And transfer resistant which is perfect for those with hooded eyelids well i don't have hooded eyelids so that's not a problem for me moving on and last in my box is the billion dollar brow micro blade effect brow pen which is valued at 18 us dollars it's a brow pen that mimics the look of actual brow hairs to get a great microblade effect without the blade. So, 
when I say I was excited about this, no, because I'm a pomade kind of girl. I definitely don't think this is going to work for me, but I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try, right? How will we know if it'll work unless I try it? So, now that you guys know what I got in my box, let us jump into me trying out an eye look with these products okay so i'm starting off i'm gonna prep my eyelids with some illegal pro concealer in the shade creamy beige just a little bit to give myself a little extra you know listen i i know i did a halfway job with prepping my eyes but this is just a fast thing right because I really ain't going no way. <clears throat> Except to pick up my son from school in a while. So I'm going in, in this Violet Voss palette. And I'm going to start off with this detail brush from the Moda brushes. So I'm going to start off with the shade called... Hmm, oh God, I want to use two shades here, but which one? Okay, I'm going to use Dusty Rose. Because I was going to use Terracotta. This shade right here, but then I realized I like to use them kind of shades too much. So let's go with Dusty Rose. So I'm going to place that in my crease area. I'm trying to pack in the shade. I am a huge Violet Voss fan. I have some palettes from them and I do have to say the quality of these are so great. So this is why I was so excited to add this palette to my collection. This is such a beautiful rosy color. I, it's right up my alley. So I'm trying to blend out the edges as I build it up. This brush is like so soft. Well, yeah, I didn't like pluck my eyebrow here and things. It have little, you know, hairs and things going all over the place. I'm going in with the shader brush and I'm going to use the shade cream to just highlight the top of my brow bone area. Oh my God, I love this. Ah! This shade is so nice. Definitely love it. I mean, it's clashing with the highlight I have going on here. This is one of the um, the Artist Couture highlighters I got in my boxy charm a while ago. So, can't remember the name. I will write the name of that highlighter above so you all can know because it's got a perfect a purple kind of sheen to it and i just love it it's so unique right so i'm using the other side of the same brush right i'm going to go in with the shade pink yeah pink what a unique name for a pink shade eh? mm? right so I'm just packing that on my lid. I'm doing a very easy look here because I'm really just testing out the shades. Okay, I definitely want to see how this works with my finger. Okay, it's better with my finger. There you go. Now I see you. So 
So, I'm going to continue packing that shade on with my finger, which is sometimes the better brush. So I'm not taking that shade all the way out. <laughs> this shade of pink is really pretty though, I have to say. I do love it. I'm going to go back in with the detail brush. Let me give it a quick clean. A quick clean. So I'm going to use the shade Cinnamon. Just to cover the rest of that lid space, like I said, it's a very simple eye look I'm doing, nothing over the top. I'm just gonna take back that pink shade and kind of pat it on a little bit where the two colors meet to give it a smooth transition. So that looks a little better. And I definitely love this palette. I really can't wait to use the shade Emerald though. That's such a beautiful green. I definitely want to use that but not today not today so i'm going to use the smudger brush and i'm going to go in with dusty rose again and i'm going under my eyes just to add a little extra something i don't want to keep it too natural These brushes are really great. I, the liner brush that came in the set, I really don't think that I would use this as a liner brush though because it's not that thin. I would, I would probably use this as a brow brush. Yes, I would. And the crease brush is definitely so soft and fluffy. I didn't use it, but I know I'm going to love this. So let me do a little eyeliner with my blickety black liner. Right. So let's open this baby up. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, have a little shaky thing inside. Nice. So let's get to it, shall we? Oh my god, it's so thin, it's so precise. I know I just make a boo-boo, but you know what, we all do it sometimes. It's so like, as soon as it made contact with skin, it like marks, so you have to be careful, you know? This reminds me of the Jessie's Girl and the Kat Von D liner. Oh God, my eye is running water, so it's kind of, you can see it kind of spilling up into the lid. That happens with me a lot because I'm supposed to be wearing glasses, but I don't wear it. Okay, so minus that little itty bitty problem, I'm gonna fix that. I'll just go over these spots again with the eyeshadow. 
There, fixed it. So let me quickly put on some mascara. Okay guys, now let's just see if I'm going to like this brow product, billion dollar brows. Let's open this baby up. Hmm, so I got the shade dark. I mean the better hand send me dark. So let's see now shall we? Okay. <laughs> Am I creating boot eyebrows for myself? <laughs> okay, I really don't like it one bit guys I am not loving it this isn't doing anything for me I mean it's not bad It's not bad, but it's just too light. This is dark and it's, it's so light. Okay, honestly, if it were just coming off as a little darker, then I would have actually not mined this product. I think this is a product more for the people that love very, very natural looking brows and you know, they don't really have much brow hair to start with, so... <sighs> mm. I mean, it does not look bad, but uh, I, I definitely don't love it. Um, I don't... I definitely don't love it. Um, I don't hate it, but... Okay, I kind of hate it. I kind of hate it. There, I said it. So, BoxyCharm has sent me a product that I actually don't really like. And this is shocking because I usually like everything they send me. So, this is um, a disappointment. Let's hope next month is better. Yeah, let's hope it is. So, anyway, guys, that's basically it. For this video the eyeshadow palette yes and do check in my description down below and you will see a link to subscribe to boxycharm using my link do subscribe do you guys know you want that boxycharm so anyway do like and subscribe to my channel as well do hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when i do new uploads which i will be doing again soon because i'm all better i'm not ill anymore yes so i'll see you again soon bye